Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Monday, August 19th, 2024. Base Names announces its Dutch auction for base.eth domains. Dune Analytics enables NFT minting for Dune charts. Hardhat releases a development update. And Optimism Retro Funding Round 5 goes live later this week. All this and more starts right now. Base announced that general access for its base.eth subnames will open on Tuesday, August 20th. The domain names will be available through a Dutch auction sale with a gradually decreasing premium fee over the first 36 hours. The premium fee will start at 100 Ether, decreasing to 0.39 Ether over the first 12 hours. Once the Dutch auction ends, no premium fee will be applied. Base initially introduced base names to a limited group of users during Basecamp in July. Base names are third level domains based on the base.eth second level ENS domain name. Users can currently search for subname availability at base.org forward slash names. Dune Analytics, a platform for querying blockchain data using SQL, introduced Mint Moment a feature that allows users to mint and collect Dune charts as NFTs on base. The feature is implemented through an integration with Zora, enabling protocol rewards for users and Dune dashboard builders. Users can capture important moments in time as NFTs such as TVL, volume, and transaction milestones. The initiative creates a new revenue stream for Dune dashboard creators who can earn a 0.00033 ETH fee for each mint originating from their dashboards. Ethereum tooling provider Hardhat released an update on the Ethereum development runtime, a Rust-based runtime implementation. Ethereum development runtime, or EDR, allows features like Solidity stack traces and transaction details to be accessed across multiple languages via WebAssembly. The team is currently working on stabilizing EDR and ensuring compatibility with existing plugins. The team is also preparing for Hardhat 3, the next major release, which will include OP stack simulation support and Solidity testing capabilities. Hardhat is a developer environment and task runner for Ethereum smart contracts. It enables the process of writing, testing, and debugging contracts written in EVM-compatible languages. And lastly, applications for Optimism's fifth retroactive funding round will open this Thursday, August 22nd. The round will distribute 8 million OP tokens to contributors of the OP stack. Eligible projects include Ethereum core contributors such as client teams, OP Stack Research and Development, and OP Stack Tooling. Applications will close on September 5th. In other news, Etherscan adds a card for Gitcoin Passport, DEFCON sends an initial wave of speaker acceptance letters, and Catherine Wu becomes COO of ENS Labs. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.